Hi everybody, so I'm back with another mystery thrift haul. It's been a while and I'm super super excited. I don't know if you can see but I have about like eight garbage bags full of clothes behind me. I have absolutely no idea what's inside them so we're gonna open them together. If you don't know, I sell used clothing on both Depop and Poshmark so everything you see here is going to be listed on there. So if you're interested in buying anything, definitely check out both of my shops and if you come from this video, just let me know and I'll give you a really good discount. And if you're wondering, I got all of these clothes for free. Basically, I run my online clothing store and people donate their clothes to me to sell online. Similar to the way people donate clothes to any other thrift store and unfortunately I'm not able to sell every single piece some there's just some things that don't have any resale value so everything that I can't sell will be donated amongst three different charities that provide people in need with clothing directly so I'm super excited because I'm not gonna lie guys I already opened one of the bags it was the only see-through bag so I was kind of like okay I can already like see into it anyway so I might as well like take a look and there was some good stuff in there so I can only imagine what is going to be in these other eight bags. One of the most things I'm excited about for starters I'll show you are these pair of Birkenstocks. They're definitely pretty worn but I know I can definitely sell these for like 15 or 20 bucks easily so super excited about those. Okay so we're gonna open our first bag right here it's pretty massive. I think there might be some shoes in here as well so that's gonna be cool. Okay, so the first thing I just pulled out is this Northern Reflections coat. The style is interesting, but I do love Northern Reflections. I feel like it's such a good vintage brand. Very like grandma, like cottage core energy. This jacket's pretty cute though. I I might be able to sell it, I don't know. Okay, so next we have this brand new with tags poncho from Talbots. This one actually has the tags on. I had no idea like the price point of Talbots, but it says it was originally a hundred and $29, so I feel like I could probably sell this on Poshmark for sure. This is another sort of like poncho kind of thing, cardigan, sleeveless cardigan. It's got polka dots on the outside, stripes on the inside. That's kind of cute. Also brand new with tags. Doesn't say the price, so I'll have to look into that one. We got a scarf. That's actually really, really pretty. 100% silk. I think I could definitely sell this. Could do that TikTok trend with it. <laughs> wow. This is really pretty. This is another scarf. It doesn't have a tag, but it does feel similar to the other one. So I'm thinking this one is also 100% silk, but that is really pretty. A lot of like basic kind of plain tops. I always look immediately at the tag just to see like what the brand is because that is gonna tell you, you know, a lot about the value of the item. This is quite cute. This is from French Connection. I don't know if it's a shirt or a dress, but if that's a dress, that's really, really cute. This is just like a sleeveless cardigan. I think a lot of the stuff in here is gonna be a lot more like workwear stuff. This is nice, just like a little waffle in it, blue top. I think my mom's gonna like a lot of these clothes. <laughs> Another Mossimo. That's actually quite cute. Brown color is really in. I think I might be able to sell that. Okay, so that was everything in the first bag. Um, okay, this one definitely has shoes in it. First, we just got some Nike running shoes in pretty good condition, actually. So I think all of these shoes are going to be a size six and a half. So if that's your size, then they will fit you. We got a Tom's little heel kind of shoe. This is from the brand Mimosa. That's cute. Oh, these are nice. Just like some Nine West little heels. These are really cute. Never worn, originally from Zara. It still has the price tag $39.90. Those are so cute. They're like a little suede, like baby blue heel with a little bow on the top. I think I can definitely sell those. Ooh. Okay, this, I just looked at the tags on this one and I don't even know what it is, but I see the words anthropology and I see the words a goldie. So this is definitely an expensive piece. What is this? Okay, that is really cute. Still in style. It's like a cropped sweater, turtleneck sweater with this like super long turtleneck on top. Brand new with tags. That is a really, really good find. Definitely going to be able to sell that for a good price. These are quite cute heels. They're the brand Naturalizer. Okay, these are really pretty. I wish I was a size six and a half. I feel like I would keep a lot of these shoes. Look at these burgundy suede kind of heels. So cute. And then lastly in the bag, we have a brand new with tags. It says these were $120 originally. They're like, oh, these are kind of cool. They're like these brown suede heels with a little snake skin on the actual heel. Those are really cool. Next bag. Ooh, what are these? Oh, it's just the Gap, but these are actually really cute. They're white, they got these like cute pockets in the front, pockets at the back, and then a little cut off 
hem on the bottom. Oh, these are kind of cool. This is from the brand Current, and they're kind of like this camo kind of pattern. Not really my style. They're cool though. Whew, okay. Ooh, that's like really pretty from the brand Brody Miles. It's like a little kind of flowy top. It kind of looks like those like pajama shirt tops, if you know what I mean. Lots of white pants. Ooh, these look nice. So this is another gap. Very, very on trend. Um, wide leg crop. That's actually really cute. Oh, this is just like a cute little H&M top with the buttons. We got a cute little black pleated skirt. Um, if this was shorter, definitely would be on trend, but it's a little bit too long. I really have a hard time selling workwear clothing, so that will definitely be donated. Ooh, this is from Scotch and Soda. That's a pretty expensive brand. It's like a, I thought it was a dress at first, but it's just like this kind of a sweater material t-shirt. This looks really nice. This is like a blazer with like cutouts in the shoulders. A little Zara suede kind of jacket. Ooh, we got a little Aritzia Wilfred kind of tank top. It looks like maybe a little bit newer. I have, I still have a ton of Aritzia from like my last mystery thrift haul and the older styles are really hard to sell. I haven't sold a lot of them. So we'll see about that one. Rebel Sugar, a little cutout black top. This is a Zara pants. These are kind of like little white joggers. We got some Lululemon. They're kind of like an older style of Lululemon, but I've actually sold these like kind of wide leg capris before. So I think I'll actually be able to sell those. Jacks and Lennon, made in Canada. I feel like this is some expensive boutique kind of item. The quality feels really good. It's kind of like a long sweater dress. That's nice. Got some Adidas leggings. These feel like they're in really good condition. This is pretty cute. Uh, it's just like this little white tank top, but it's kind of hard to see, but it has kind of like eyelet, ribbed eyelet detailing. Another one of this Jackson Lennon kind of uh, sweater dresses. So that was bag number three three, I think. So let's move on to this one. Okay, it looks like we have some dresses in, um, what are these called? Like these dress bags. Ooh, lots of hangers. I always need more hangers, that's for sure. Okay, what is in here? This one's really pretty. It's brand new with tags, originally $138. Just this navy blue dress with these little bows down the back. That's really adorable. This is really cool. This is from J. Crew. That's really pretty, this like green color. Okay, I think this whole bag is full of dresses because it looks like we have two more of those dress bags. We got Banana Republic. That's actually really pretty. I don't know if you can see that detailing. Another, ooh, brand new with tags, Kate Spade. Whoa, whoa. This dress is originally $458. Wow, that is really good. I've never sold Kate Spade before, but I know it's expensive. Oh, it's a jumpsuit. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I think this will sell. I think this will sell for a good amount of money. It's an extra small. Too small for me, unfortunately, but that's for the better because I should probably sell this. Wow, that's really pretty. That is a good find. Another towel bids, little knit gray dress. And then we've got a brand new text Tommy Hilfiger. Got it on sale for $60. This little striped dress, that's cute. Okay, my pile is getting massive and we still have three bags to go. So let's get to it. More dress bags. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of dresses. Holy smokes. Okay, Carl Lagerfeld. I feel like that's expensive. This one's fun. Look at those patterns. That's actually pretty cool. We got a brand new with tags Hatley dress. Does not say the price on it, so I'll have to research that, but that's fun. <laughs> Ruins Bazaar, brand new with tags, like silky kind of top. This one's from Banana Republic. It's kind of like a high-low dress. That's pretty. Maison Olivia. This looks kind of old and vintage-y like. That's really cute. Buttons on the back. Look at that. That's cute. A little Massimo. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's like this red blazer, like light red blazer. I really like that actually. Oh, this is really pretty. Banana Republic top. The loft top, a Zara, brand new with tags, originally $39. Another brand new with tags, Mossimo white sweater. This is cute, feels like wool or something. Club Monaco dress, <gasps> I see plaid. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, Tommy Hilfiger, new with tags, Tommy Hilfiger. $60 dress, plaid. That's really cute actually, size four. I like that a lot. Mossimo. Ooh, this is really beautiful. Oh, I kind of hope this fits me. It's like this beautiful forest green dress. Really pretty. Okay, almost there, two more bags. This one may be the biggest. 
Okay, I'm hoping there's no more dresses because that's a lot of dresses. This is really cute. It's a one state. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a white chunky knit sweater, but then the bottom is like all fluffy. Ooh, okay, so we got Tulula, which is an Aritzia brand. It is this army green jacket. I, we all know this jacket, we've seen it. So this is definitely out of style, but it'll be interesting to see if I can see that. Sell that, I mean. We got a Zara sleeveless kind of poncho thing. We got a cute Zara dress shirt kind of thing. Venus, it's a fun pattern. That's a cute top, once again with those cutout shoulders. Ooh, Sunday best. So this is also from Aritzia. It's just like a basic black cardigan, kind of an older style. Got a Wilfred Free, just like a basic oh, gray tank. Love to see those Aritzia brands. This is from Roxy, definitely older style. It's from Lucky Brands. It's kind of an interesting pattern. Really like loud. These kind of like patterns are very in right now. This is from The Gap, but it's just this really pretty like white sweater. Another Lucky Brand top. Oh, it's kind of cute actually. It's got a little embroidered stuff on it. Okay guys, on to the final bag and we'll be done. Okay, looks like there's a few jackets and a bunch of shoes in here. This looks nice. This is from Mango. It's kind of like this hooded jacket. I really like this color. That's quite nice, actually. And now a bunch of shoes. We got a little Steve Madden, little kind of suede brown boot. That's quite cute. It is pretty worn. That's okay. These are interesting. They're like little flats with a pineapple on them. We got some Lord and Taylor. Oh, ooh, these are pretty on trend with all this little strappy detail and this little velvet, black velvet. That's really cute. Once again, if these were my size, I feel like I'd keep a lot of them because I don't really have any like good dress shoes. Just a little suede black boot. Ooh, these are fun. This is Banana Republic little heel with the little like jewels kind of bedazzled on there. I see some like designer, I think, in here. I'm really unfamiliar with designer brands. Like I should really start learning them because I just never really cared about them, but I kind of need to. So this is a coach purse. I know coach is like expensive, right? I think it's authentic. I think it's authentic. There's a band-aid in there, that's gross, but it's in pretty good condition. A little bit of discoloration on the back. Um, That's gonna be really interesting to see how much I can sell that for. Little Mossimo black pleather boot. Oh, these are so pretty. I wish these fit me. These are the brand uh, Unisa. Just like basic velvety black heels. Ooh, we got some Adidas. I think I can sell these for sure. Stan Smith. Stan Smith. Is this like a collaboration kind of sneaker? Pretty good condition since they're like white shoes. And then lastly, we have this little, what is this called? Like wedge heel, little summer heel right there. And that is everything. Wow, okay. I think this is probably the most clothing I've ever received at once. So it's really awesome, but I got a lot of work ahead of me. I'm gonna have to sort everything, figure out what I'm selling, get rid of all the stuff I'm not gonna sell, wash the clothes, take the pictures. Like there's a lot of work ahead of me, but really excited to see how some of these brands do. I'm glad that I'll hopefully be able to find new homes for a lot of these clothes because if they're just donated to a thrift store, unfortunately a lot of clothes from thrift stores do end up in landfill. So I'm glad they're taking an extra step here where I can sell them online first and hopefully extend their lives a little bit more. Like I said, if there's anything that you saw that you are interested in buying, check out my Depop and my Poshmark. Pretty much everything will be listed on my Poshmark and then a few things will be listed on my Depop. So let me know if you guys want more of these because I'm sure I'll be getting more clothes in hopefully soon. Well, hopefully not soon. I've got to deal with this first. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.